All right, I removed that resistor. I was worried that it was just limiting the current too much. So we will give ourselves juice again. more troubleshooting looks like something is potentially weird because we should have lower voltage on the second uh, line if you look on these uh, this is supposed to be between grid uh, the, the main grid 238 or the anode and the secondary grid with the other anode that's lower like it's supposed to be with this side on one side I'm getting 240 but the other side I'm getting 240 so that means that somehow or another it's not being lowered so I got to shut that down I think I finally got it figured out. Um, I started looking at things I noticed I'd forgotten. I needed to pull the feed output off of below this resistor and I was doing it above. So I don't know if that's even possible to get much of anything out of that. But as soon as I fixed that, I got nice loud output. So I'm going to uh, kind of hook back up again. And now that I've hooked this to the right location, I will be able to kind of check voltages and make sure they look okay. Uh, we'll start with that voltage right there, and uh, you will see here in a second uh, that it's going to be kicking out some nice sine wave sound. Here we go. It takes a second for us to kick in. And there's a, a lot of weird stuff coming in at first like that, but... Oh, of course now it doesn't want to... There's a little bit of low-level oscillation there, I'm not sure. But there you have it, we have output. So now I'm going to swap out and put my um, guitar into it and see how that sounds. And then what I'm going to do is I'll show you the... Uh, what I've been using on my, probably pull, switch the camera over to my oscilloscope so you can see that as well.
of the things I'm wondering about is it may do me some good to bypass the tone stack with a jumper because I think I'm also possibly kind of blowing my tone out really bad. So let me try connecting here. We're going to bypass the tone stack straight into the input of the next tube. Interesting. Part of this might be that I've just got a jury rig so much that. Well, the weird thing is, is I'm not seeing any good. Uh, single even coming in. I might have broken something loose again on accident. I don't know. turned down I don't know but let's check hmm. oh I also I seem to have definitely accidentally broken my tone stack because my one meg to ground resistor off of that is bad so what I'm gonna probably do now is probably quickly just bypass the tone stack for now and I'll have to try and replace it later it's a typical tone stack but in this way we'll get just the pure tone of the amp sound so I'll come back with that in a second all right all right so after doing a little bit of playing I can actually get guitar sound out of it of intermittency to it. If I touch things occasionally, they disappear. But then with my probes, if I touch things with my probes, things seem to seem to appear or disappear. And I'm not sure why. It could be the balance of the circuit. It could be a lot of things, but I'm going to try and take this probably at this point to the forums and ask the guys for some input and help. Um, but uh, I've tested all the voltages now, all the voltages on the pins seem right. I did notice that I was kind of wiggling or touching these, they kind of come in and out, but I thought that was um, uh, related to bad solder joints, so I resoldered them. But I can still get output the same, but I had this problem once on my AC30 as well. Connecting to the right spot. Flitters in and out really bad, but if I touch again, it should come back in. And now I'm getting a little motor boating there. Um, so ultimately, one of the things I definitely want to figure out is I think this power supply might be really no yeah, this power supply is really noisy. Um, what I'm going to do is, this is just between ground and the input of the power. Let me just, I'll actually make this direct right over here. And you can see, I have got, alright, so if you notice that, that's across the power. So I think another one of my problems might be that the power is just really dirty coming in. Now, um, it's got some pretty excessive hum going on. Now this is a pretty crummy cheap one I got and I'm, I'm wondering I might have to look into replacing some of the filter caps in it but in, in the interim I might be able to just bridge it with a good another uh, 100 microfarad filter cap somewhere in line just with the jumpers and see if that helps it. 
because that may be where a lot of the hum is really coming from, is that really nasty. Um, now these are some old filter caps that I have from uh, uh, work I did on someone else's amp. But it's, uh, it is entirely possible that we really just need a little more filtering going on here. So I'm going to, sorry, I'm kind of blocking the screen here, but I'm going to try and add a little more filtering and see if the hum dissipates. All right, so I'm trying to think of where I'll be able to best to hook this guy and have it kind of be in series but not part of... connect to that guy. Okay, so I've got a 100 microfarad capacitor I'm putting in line as well. Let's see what that does to our noise. Oh wow, that, yeah, see that filtered it down quite a bit more, if you can see that. That's way better, and then the hum's quite a bit quieter. Still not getting any output. So it looks like really one of the problems I've got is just how noisy my power is, so that's one problem. Um, so, you know, this, this is one of the things. noise has gone down by probably half because of adding other cap. But right there, that is a good sign of how dirty my power supply is. Um, right now it's running at, let's try and see if I can get that to hold still. Okay, so you can see that it's, it's sitting around and that's an old cap, so that might be some of the funny noises you're hearing. But it's sitting around now, instead of the uh, the hum being in the, probably almost double or triple that, we're in the 10 volt range, so we're talking, it's about 10 volts of hum. So that means it's really going from 240 to 250-ish volts and back down, or maybe it's kind of, you know, the average is 250, so it might be 255 to 245 range, but... A lot of that noise, I think, is coming from my power supply, so that's good to know. Good to see I can filter a little bit more of it out, and I might have to try and play with uh, just doing a little bit better quality filtering. Uh, but uh, again, the sound is gone right now. It's just really... And I think there's something going on in the output side now, because if I connect in... If I connect the blue, uh, my uh, blue lead from that down to like right output, the output of the uh, main guitar or the first preamp to, it seems pretty good. Um, clean comparatively. So now I need to look into what's going on in my output section. Something's going funky there. One of the things may be the balance that comes from the. Um, output you have the phase inverter the phase inverter my second tube might be coming in kind of weak so it's causing a um, weird state where it kind of does that I don't know but it looks like right now the good thing is I'm getting good output from the preamp first preamp tube, my EF86 or it's my only preamp tube per, per se and then I have the uh, the preamp or the, the phase inversion side that is potentially not doing what it needs so I'll have to play around with it more but there you go I've got an actual working amp that just needs more trouble needs more troubleshooting all right thanks everybody we'll keep you posted